Fortnite brand new season 3 just came out and everyone is facing lag and FPS drops in Fortnite. So guys here I find the best Fortnite game use settings that you need to optimize in your Fortnite in order to get the better FPS, lower input delay and faster response time. And also make sure to share your PC specs in the comment below and I will give you some best free suggestion in order to get more FPS in Fortnite with your any PC build. So guys before going straight toward our main optimization it is important to remove all the previous season junk files from your system so for that you have to press windows r together from your keyboard and this will open up this one window now simply type here temp and hit enter and guys make sure to delete all the file available in this folder and this is completely temporary file now close out of this folder now again press windows r together from your keyboard but now this time type here percentage temp percentage sign again and hit ok and guys also delete all these junk file from this folder you will go to this kind of the guys message so guys simply click on the cancel button and just leave these files now let's go straight toward our main optimization for our fortnite config so for that you again need to press windows r together from your keyboard but now this time type here percentage local app data percentage sign again and hit enter now you have to find out here fortnite game folder so press f from your keyboard and find out fortnite game folder so go for it now go for saved config windows client and here you will find out your fortnite game use settings and guys by the way if you want to apply these settings in just one click so guys here i made this best game use settings 2025 for you you just need to guys download this folder from the link in the description and also paint in the comments simply guys download this folder inside you will find out best game use settings that will help you guys getting the best performance according to your pc build like if you have a low-end PC, mid-end PC or high-end PC, you just need to go for that specific folder. Inside, you will find that multiple resolution that you can choose from. So if you have a low-end PC, so better to use the lower resolution. So guys, for example, if you have a low-end PC, you need to go for the low-end folder, then go for 640 by 480 folder and simply copy and paste here the game you're setting file inside this directory and that will apply everything for you in just one single click. But guys, we are going to do it manually like if you want to do it yourself in your game so guys you can also do it so guys just simply right click here first of all go for properties and make sure the read only box is unchecked from here then hit apply and click ok now right click again now this time go for edit with notepad and this window pop up on your screen so guys once you open up the game use settings now you need to find out these settings from here so first setting that you guys need to disable that is the b motion blur and guys you need to set the settings onto the fall in order to disabling the motion blur on your pc now next here we find out b show grass so guys also set the settings onto the fall in order to disabling it now next here we go the show fps i have also disabled it but guys the settings not have an impact on your performance so you can also make it true or false this is your personal preference now the next step here you will find out this b use gpu crash debugging so guys i have all set it on the false so guys next here you will find that this option that the b stop rendering in background so guys you need to go for this option and also make sure to set it on to the false now next here you will find out this latency tweak so guys simply set it on to the full latency tweak 2 set it on to the one b latency flash set it on to the false next here you will find out this fort anything a method so guys this is on the dlss guys this is non impact on your performance mode if you are using the directx 12 then these settings matter but guys on the performance mode these are completely useless settings now you have to guys scroll down and find out the next settings that is the ray tracing and 120 fps mode so guys make sure to set the settings onto the uh, false now you have to scroll down and find out the graphic settings so guys scroll down until you find out the graphic settings in fortnite so guys here we got it now the very first step here we go to the resolution so guys you can choose it according to your pc there is a lot of popular resolution but currently i'm using 1720 by 1080p you can guys go with anything like 1920 by 1080p 128720 or guys you can also use any stretcher resolution i have also made a video how to get stretcher resolution so if you want to apply the stretcher resolution so you can also watch that video so now scroll down and here we go to the most important settings inside this game use settings and that is the scalability group settings so in the very first step here we got resolution quality so i suggest you to guys go with 90 percent of the uh visual quality next here we got the video distance set it onto zero that's mean on the low and it'll then set it onto zero and guys set all the settings onto the zero therefore you can set all the settings onto the lowest possible one for having the better performance and better fps in fortnite after doing all the settings you need to go for the file option hit save and save all the settings inside your fortnite game use settings 
Now you just have to close out of it and close out of the directory. Now simply launch your Fortnite and enjoy the best performance out of your PC. I hope so you love it. Please make sure to let me know your opinion about this video in the comment below. And I will see you in the next video.